Morning everybody. This is Sarah and Miss Ruth and we're welcoming you back to St. James Sunday School. And uh, we're in our pink today because spring is bursting out all over. Yay! It's so much fun. So many flowers. I was out in the garden and these three had their heads kind of knocked uh, off. So I, I picked those and these are beautiful. These are daffodils. They're called double daffodils. Usual daffodils have a, a big long kind of snout on them. And these are totally different. And uh, they're still with the daffodil family. And there's hardly any smell to them, but they really are pretty. So we should be looking at all the different things that are coming up. I was walking on the path yesterday and I saw that the trilliums are out in some of the forested areas. And that's a real good sign that spring is here. So, so I, I hope everyone gets out and, and enjoys the better weather right now. So we're going to be talking about doing good things and helping each other and, and uh, doing things that God would like us to do. And our song today is God Helps Me. So here we go. every day too. So we're looking at our picture right now and you can see in the days of uh, Jesus that the children were helping their mother. They are helping hold the jug while she, was, she is pouring liquid. It could be water into those jugs. They may be taking the liquid to share it with other family members. So we can all be doing good things and we'll be talking about that a little bit later. So under here, the story today takes place uh, in front of the synagogue or the temple or the church as we call it today. And every day, um, this man was a lame man. He was a man who didn't have the ability to walk. And his friends would carry him up and down the hill and, and take him over in front of the temple. And that was because that was the area that all the poor people, anyone who um, didn't own land or have a way of making um, um, a living, uh, if they were injured, uh, if, they, um, if they were widowed, so if um, the husband had passed away, if the children had no parents at all, some disaster had happened, they always would go to the, the front of the church. And today the church is also the place that helps a lot of people. So, so this particular day, this man is in front of the temple, and there's a, probably all these poor people are there too, and along come some of Jesus helpers, the disciples. And the man calls out to them and he says, help me, help me, I need some money. I need some money to buy food. And they look at him and they, and actually two of them go over to him. And that is uh, Peter and John. And they say to him, uh, we don't have any money to give you, but we can give you a blessing. So by Jesus, by the strength of Jesus, the love of Jesus, stand up so they took his hand and held him until he got steady on his legs and then he was able to actually move about and use his legs and he started running all over the place he ran into the temple a lot of people saw him and they marveled that he was the man that actually had been um, for years in front of the temple and he could not walk but um, by the love of jesus and the blessing from the disciples he was given the ability to, uh, to walk. So the disciples then talked to lots of people because they all wanted to know about uh, the love of Jesus too. 
and so they could take Jesus into their hearts and um, and be able to help other people just the way that we do today so that is our joyful story today about the lame man who got the ability to uh, to walk and we have a Bible verse that goes with that right down here get it out it is. hear the word of God and obey it from Luke eleven twenty eight. so God's word tells us to help others just as Jesus friends did in this time period okay so we'll go over to our craft table and we'll see some things that I brought to show some of the things that we do around here to help people. This is some I just brought in today. This is um, our friend, Miss Pat. She made these yesterday. These are 30 masks that are all going to our migrant workers. So we are always finding ways to help people, whether it be through food or through safety measures. And right now with the pandemic, having a fresh mask to wear is very important. So we continually are, are making masks and, and giving them uh, giving them to people that need them. So today the idea is to make a little booklet. So this is one that Sarah, by my puppet friend, made. And it's just a matter of taking two pieces of paper and folding them in half with a little booklet like that. And then draw your picture on the front of it and print your name as she did. And then find ways that you can help people. So inside we found uh, this picture with hands up hands up with a heart on it that shows love. So this could be something when uh, I've been helping teach uh, children online and they put their hands up when they want to speak and then they take themselves off mute because we're into online teaching right now, not in a class. But even in the class, children put their hands up to be helpful so that everyone's not talking at the same time. So that's a very good way to help everybody in the classroom, including the teachers. And here's another one. I will help with dinner. Perhaps you can set the table. Perhaps you can um, take the food scraps and put them in the green bin. Perhaps you can rinse the dishes off. Maybe you can um, help out in the yard too in different ways. I was thinking I've been busy with weeding. So if mom or dad can show you what a weed is versus what a good plant is, you can help with that. And it's always good to stir up the soil and see the, the good worms that are in there working away. So there's things that we can do outside or inside. I was thinking about the car right now. Um, a lot of people are washing their cars in their driveway, so you could help perhaps polish the wheels. Or right now we can't go golfing, but it's a good time to help mom and dad maybe um, polish up their, their golf clubs because every time you're out, those golf clubs get dirty. So there's lots of ways you can help mom and dad, but you can also help just to picking up your own toys, uh, picking up your paints. I do a lot of painting and I leave a lot of paints out and keep changing them around and I always have to tidy up. So there's lots of different things we can add to this booklet to show that we can be helpful, that we can show God's love by being helpful. So as I brought a newspaper in just to show you, you can find things from here and you can also do some drawing for that. Okay, so we're going to end with a, a new book. It's called Ways to Pray with Children. And I found this one. This is an echo prayer. So an echo prayer would be, one that the teacher would say the first line and then you would echo the second one. So I'll echo it myself. Thank you, God, for another day. Thank you, God, for another day. Bless you, God, for your love and care. Bless you, God, for your love and care. Praise you, God, for this beautiful world. Praise you, God, for this beautiful world. Help us to help others every day. Help us to help others every day. In God's love, in Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful week and enjoy this beautiful spring weather. That's all for now. Bye from Miss Ruth.